Oh my god, Nadine! Before we get into the video, I just want to put y'all on some game real quick. This is a website called Instant Gaming. Here you can get some of your favorite games for a discounted price. Uh, from The Sims 4 to Dead by Daylight, they're really sure to have a game that you've been wanting to play for a while. So check out Instant Gaming to fulfill all of your gaming needs. The link is in the description box below. As always, the very first link you see, it's right there. I promise you it's right there. You ain't gotta go too far. But let's go ahead and get back to the video. What is up, all oh my guys and goddesses, and welcome back to the channel where we spend nothing but love, positivity, and happiness, and that's on what? That's on period, my good sis. We are back with another episode of my Sims for a Zombie Apocalypse series, and this is episode four. If you haven't yet, go ahead and check out episodes one, two, and three on my channel, as well as check out my TikTok, because I definitely post, like, clips of the episode on my tiktok and just check out my tiktok in general because it should be popping whatever over there but um <laughs> and also don't forget to follow me on twitch i stream normally every wednesday friday and sunday at 7 p.m so make sure y'all check out my twitch streams um but yeah other than that other than my little small plug-in y'all already know what's up last episode we ended off where the girls have been invited basically to stay with Cheyenne and Nadine and I'm super excited about that. We get to add two more girls to our group, two new people. So exciting to Nia, really hit it off with Cheyenne over here. They really became kind of close friends so far. Francesca has a secret crush on Nadine. <laughs> it's just all weird. But either way, the girls are right now having a meeting about what they are going to do moving forward like how the scavenging and hunting is going to go because they have to do 10 times more scavenging and hunting and trading due to the fact that they have more people with them now so mm, we're gonna see how to work this out so the girls are like i said chit chatting about this and they came to the conclusion that at least three girls need to be out hunting and scavenging for supplies at a time the other three can do like maintenance home things they have a compost basket over there they have this little candle thing that they use to trade with other people and they have like other people they trade with they just do not invite to stay with them so that's exciting um they have to do lookout times and all that jazz because that's what they do so the girls were also giving sh given strict instructions on not to let anyone inside the premises or they are not allowed out without making sure that everybody knows that they're leaving um we are not to bring anyone else back to the camp as we are just now adjusting to having as many girls as we have um this is what nadine is saying to them so nobody in or out um, without knowledge and no bringing new people to the group until we are all established and make a decision as one um in their group of two nadine was kind of more of the leader between them two and as you guys know with our group um francesca was mostly our leader so they did make kind of an agreement to have conversations with one another because um, they are kind of like going to be the two leaders of this particular group. Briella's more standoffish. She just want to get to the back. I well, say get to the back. She just want to get to, you know, making sure everybody's safe and everything. She's very stern, very strict with herself. So that's that. Mackenzie just is Mackenzie. Um, so yeah, the girls have had their little meeting. Mackenzie's like, all right, I sign up to go first out Mackenzie smells really bad guys um so we're gonna send out uh Mackenzie we're gonna send out Briella and we're gonna go ahead and send out um we're gonna send out Cheyenne with them Briella is gonna go we're gonna have actually we're gonna have her go um hunting so we're gonna have her go hunting we're gonna have Mackenzie go and search for supplies because Mackenzie's really, really good at searching for supplies. I don't really know what is going on, but she's great at that. And then we're gonna have Cheyenne go out and hunt as well because we gotta get some meat for tonight, which is cool. Tania, Francesca, and Nadine are gonna stay back. We're gonna have her and Nadine chit chat a little bit. I hope you guys enjoy living here though. <laughs> 
dish. I really do hope you guys enjoy living here. It'd be fun. It's like, yeah, definitely be fun, but we gotta stay focused. We gotta make sure we're doing things to continue to build. She's like, yeah, we really need to start a garden here. Um, it seems like you guys haven't had much success. So we really need to start a garden. She's like, ugh, yeah, we kinda do. So she's gonna offer her services to help her start a garden. We're gonna plant a banana tree because it still is summer. And I think this is also a summer plant. So we're gonna have Nate, not Nadine. We're gonna have um, Francesca come and do that. And Nadine is actually gonna go and fill Ash's bowl. Oh, she found clean water, you smart bitch. Go back out there. She found dirty and clean water. But we're gonna have her go back out there and look for some more. Uh, all the girls are gonna actually go back out and look for some more. Cause we gotta make sure we're gonna have enough food to do everything we wanna do. Um, all right. So Nadine is gonna come over here and learn how to garden with uh, Francesca. So she's gonna tell her to come over here and water all the plants. She's like, just come over and water the plants. You only need to water them this amount of time. You know, she's just teaching her how to do the plant situation just in case, you know, just in case Francesca don't make it. She gotta be able to know how to help. How about, you know, do, do the garden. I love how they're just, they're working on it. Oh my God, we could plant some blackberries here and some blueberries so we can grow some more, y'all. This is exciting, oh my God. <laughs> We're gonna be growing some plants. I'm so freaking turnt about this. I'm so turnt. Is she thirsty? Oh, she's, she's, she's thirsty. Oh God, we don't have no more water. We don't have no more water. Oh my God, uh, where's the water? Okay, listen, we're gonna give Nadine this water back because that's ridiculous. Drink the water, Nadine. So the girls can get thirsty. I wanna make that clear. Um, They can get thirsty and if they don't drink, they're, they can die. Um, <laughs> All right, Briella is back with a bunch of meat, which is great. Um, friend, not Francesca. Who was supposed to be back? Tania's still here. Tania just fabricated some stuff over there. So, oh, we gotta get some ingredients, don't we? Let's do two of everything. And she can make candles now too. Hey, make some amber candles. And this is gonna be their way of um trading with people. So she got her little gardening skill and whatnot. All right, everybody else is back. That's great, Mackenzie is back. What else you got, Mackenzie? So Mackenzie got, I think she got a dirty water and a clean water. The girls are gonna just have to suffer with that. She got a box of caps, open the caps and give to Francesca. And then put that water in there too. The girls got Oh, she got five things of meat. Um, who else got meat? Not Tania. Not Mackenzie. Briella. Meat in the fridge. And what's this book? What's oh, a magazine? Okay. The girls are getting hungry, so we're gonna come over here and just light it up. Nobody has had breakfast yet, so. Oh, sh girl. Two hours later. Oh, this is gonna be so fun. Wait a minute, who, who, where's the fire? Oh my God, are you on fire, bitch? Get off. Oh my God, extinguish it. Everybody extinguish the fire. Extinguish yourself. Extinguish yourself. Oh my God, we starting fires. We're gonna actually have Francesca ask Nadine to come chill with her, like, you know, you know what I'm saying? Like, ask her to hang out with her. Hey, you wanna come up, up there with me and chill for a second? She's like, yeah, sure. Let's get them up here. And then Jessica's like, I just wanted to get to know you and really just see who you were as a person and you just seem cool and I just wanted to get to know you. <laughs> She's like, so what are like, some things you like. She has a hero personality and Francesca has a sinister personality. We'll see how that plays out. I have a deep conversation. I'm gonna have her flirt with her too. Their bar is going up pretty fast. So I'm gonna actually have her 
flirt with her because I think she really, really likes her. She does. I think she really, really does like her too. She's taking it. Like, do you? You don't really have a boyfriend, do you? Oh, she just likes body hair. Well, lucky for you, I don't have any. She's like, you're. Oh, and I. Oh, she's like, um. This is going a little too fast, a little too quick. Um, I like you, but we, we can we just take it a little slow or something? Like, I don't, I don't know. I don't know. I gotta feel like if I don't know if I really like you like that, like that. Like I, I like you, but she's like, yeah, okay, I gotta go. I gotta be. Oh man, she don't hurt Francesca's feelings. Francesca has to be embarrassed. Okay, Mackenzie, talk to Briella. You come up here and chit chat with Briella, cause. You don't really be talking to nobody. You and Briella don't be talking to nobody. I don't know what be going on. All right, they over here chit-chatting. She still look dirty, which is crazy. They over here just chit-chatting. I only had them say one thing to each other. And they over here running their mouth. She's embarrassed. Francesca's embarrassed she's going to bed. Um, It seemed like Nadine is just going to go to bed too, but she's on watch for the night, so... Nadine went in there with Francesca. She felt bad and wanted to just lay with her. Oh, that is so sweet. That really is so sweet. She felt bad for her and wanted to go lay with her. See, they really do like each other. They nasty. So Mackenzie took it upon herself to say, you know what? I'm just going to be the lookout girl today. So she's going to go in the tower and try to sleep and if she sees something she'll say something all right briella is up as per usual the earliest in the morning we're gonna get her to throw away everything to the compost pet the dog lecture him about barking because we want to get him to a point where we can take him with us on certain occasions but we don't want him to get us caught you feel me all right, Cheyenne is up. Cheyenne had to get her some water. I think she got the dirty water though. Cause she thirsty, damn Cheyenne. You gonna be drinking the dirty water. Dean, Francesca, and Tania need to go out today. So we're gonna go with them today. Why the dog all in her face? We're just gonna, we're just gonna send Nadine and Francesca. They're actually done sleeping. So we're gonna get both of them up. We're gonna send both of them out to go scavenge for some stuff we probably need so let's have them change we'll have her change all right so we're gonna pack up and nadine and francesca are gonna go out they're like girls it's just gonna be us um we're gonna go ahead and just let tania sleep since we're already ready to go and we'll catch you guys when we come back i guess so okay so the girls have came over <clears throat> here it's just like a place where a bunch of containers are. Nothing really too much. They do see that there is a tent up here. So they're gonna come up here and it's a fire up here. There are zombies back here. So <clears throat> I don't know if they seen them yet. They might in a second, but they did see a car. So let's go actually study this broken vehicle. Acquired the car mechanic skill. Continue building car mechanics by studying broken cars, reading car mechanics, skill books, or refueling working cars. Did, are they? Uh, it's, it's raining. Oh my God, they should take a shower in the rain together. Oh, sh save her. Pause. Save her. Not, not the zombie shock that she shot. Shoot her. Shoot it. Nadine. Nadine. Oh God, please stop showering. Is there another one? Francesca, come on. With the umbrella though. Francesca, like, he gotta go. He gotta go and you all have to go to whatever the nearest house is, cause it's time. Nadine, Francesca. 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 Nadine, shoot it. Nadine! Oh my God, you freaking go, Francesca. Francesca is fighting them all. <gasps> Nadine! <laughs> Nadine! Oh my God! Nadine, you told me you was a shot. You told me you was a leader, you lying bitch. She lied. She lied. 
shoot the freaking zombie. Do not get bitten again. Get over here. Run. Shoot it, Francesca. You guys should not have been there. Oh my gosh. Nadine. Yeah, she's freaking out because you're going to die. She's like, I don't know what's going on, but Nadine, what happened? She's like, I got scared. Nadine got scared, bro. They was just about to get to know each other. She's like, you're going to become a zombie really, really soon. And I don't know what to do. And I don't want to leave you here. She's going to fucking die. Yo. She's literally going to die. Oh, they did their first kiss. And she's going to die. Oh, look, she's turning. Look at her arms. Oh, my God. Nadine. Nadine. Oh, my God. Francesca, we got to go. Run, bitch. <laughs> it's time to run. Come on, Francesca. We got to go, girl. We got to get out of here. Okay, Francesca came running inside <clears throat> to get all the girls together so she could tell them about Nadine. She's like, everybody, everybody, everybody come out here. And they're like, it's raining. She's like, it doesn't matter. Listen, listen. Cheyenne look like she already, she's like, where is, everybody's like, where's Nadine? Where's Nadine? Where's Nadine? Look, Cheyenne's like, where the f is Nadine? Cheyenne look angry. Ah, Cheyenne look like she's about to punch somebody in their face. She's like, girls, so we were, we were trying to hunt and, and then it started raining so i was like oh I'll, I'll take a look a quick shower and then we kind of got ran over by some zombies Cheyenne so was like what so where is nadine she's like well well nadine nadine got scared and, and and couldn't shoot she's like what are you saying right now she's never gotten scared before she, she's never what are you talking about She's like, well, she seen the zombie coming for me and she was gonna shoot it and, and she didn't. And then I had to turn around and shoot it. She's like, no, I don't, what do you? She's, oh Lord, she's, she's, she's about to go crazy over Nadine. Nadine was like her bestie and she was alive till we came here. Oh my God, I know. She's like, are you, what are you, what are you talking about right now? Like you're, you're not making any sense. She's like, I'm telling you, Nadine didn't shoot and it, I almost got killed and, and then I turned around after I shot what, what was me, what was trying to get me and and then it got her. She's like, you're you're unbelievable, you're a liar. She's like, why would I fucking lie to you? I liked 19 too. She's like, that was my friend and she wasn't dead until you got here. And he's like, it's not, I mean not Nadine. Francesca's like, it's not my fault that Nadine is dead. She didn't shoot. She's like, how dare you? How dare you leave her out there like that? You are so Ugh, you just she's like i'm trying my best i tried to save her she's like you sure you did sure you did you did nothing cheyenne is heated heated cheyenne is heated where are you going francesca cheyenne hungry francesca's like i gotta get away from her she's about to tell she was about to tell uh Mackenzie what just happened, but I guess Cheyenne got more to say. Cheyenne's like, actually, actually, oh, how dare you? Oh shh, <laughs> I didn't know she was gonna slap her though. Wait a minute, now you ain't gonna be slapping Francesca. Look, Mackenzie, turn around and tell her. Turn around and tell her, Mackenzie. She's like, hold on now. Don't be, don't be slapping Mackenzie. Okay. I mean, don't be slapping Francesca. What's your problem? She's like, I didn't, I didn't mean to. I, I, I really didn't mean to. I don't care what you didn't mean to do. Don't be slapping her. Francesca's just gonna run away because she's coochie. Oh, she's eating salad. Let her eat her salad. Wait, how you gonna eat Mackenzie salad? Put her damn salad down and run away or something. Cause here, since you wanna run away, run away over here and fill the bowl for the dog. She's like, I don't really know what came over me. I'm just, not the music. She's like, you don't get to put your hands on Francesca. She's like, you don't know me, Mackenzie. Tania, 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 stop this right here. Tania, get your friend. <laughs> look, look, because Mackenzie about to get her too. Uh, Mackenzie about to show her what's up. So wait a minute. 
Wait a minute. Y'all, get your friend, babes. Get your friend. You and your friend. <laughs> you and your friend come over here and have a chit chat or something. Because I don't know what's going on. But you and your friend come over here. Actually, yeah, go over there. Because I don't know what's up. But you and Cheyenne need to come over here. Go go over there. Cheyenne is cussing everybody out because she can't believe Nadine might be really dead. She's like, I won't accept this from anybody. Nadine was the best person I've ever known in my entire life. She was so kind and just so everything. And I just, I just, it's just not fair. I understand. I'm sorry, Cheyenne. I didn't know that bitch wasn't gonna do nothing. She's like, listen, I'm gonna, listen, let's just take my hug, okay? Everything's gonna be fine. We're gonna figure this out. Well, guys, we're going to end that episode right here. That was crazy. Tania knows that there's this is going to drive a rift between her girls and Cheyenne. And Tania knows that she really, really likes Cheyenne um, as a friend, obviously. And she really is just baffled by what she heard Francesca say as well. Um, Cheyenne doesn't believe that Nadine wouldn't fight or wouldn't shoot she doesn't believe that she froze up she believes that francesca left her to die or killed her herself shan doesn't know what to believe because nadine was actually alive before they came so i don't know all i know is tania is in a rough little pickle right now and she has to figure out a way to get these girls back together and as one unit with that being said, I hope you guys enjoyed this episode and I know it wasn't as long as the rest of them, but I really do hope you guys enjoyed this episode and make sure you guys, if you haven't, go back and watch episodes one, two, and three and episode five and six will be out next week, which is amazing, but I love you guys so much and I hope you guys have a great rest of your day. Thank you. Go, uh, go ahead and give this video a big fat thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel down below and hit that bell notification so you notify every time I post a motherfucking video like this one. Make sure you guys follow me over on my TikTok where I post clips of these type of episodes and some of my Twitch clips as well, as well as follow my other TikTok, which is going to be more of the behind the scenes of how I film my videos and things of that nature. So make sure you check out my my TikTok channel, um, both my TikTok channels, and make sure you check out my Twitch channel where I am currently streaming every Wednesday, Friday, and Sunday at 7 p.m. so that you guys can come over and watch some spooky games and enjoy the spooky season with me as well. Um, I hope you guys are enjoying this Let's Play. Um, it's only going to be 10 episodes, unfortunately, so we're almost coming to an end. We're halfway through the set of episodes but i hope you guys enjoy make sure you comment anything that you think would help with the series and yeah i'll catch you guys in the next video or live stream bye